Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Lollipop versus Dino Dunn, and this is going to be a match where it is TCG format with some cards that are going to be coming out over here very shortly, and with that being said, let's just hop right into the video. So we are going to go ahead and see Dino Dunn win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, so they can decide if they want to go first or second. Looking at deck counts, we have 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it, and then Dino is going to be going first. Opening hands, we have Tanky, Rat, Imperm, Nerval, and Strike. So, one hand trap going second, Tri Brigade Zoo, and then they have Ash, Claw Crow, Droplet, Tree, and Trouble Sun. So, uh, this, is, uh, this is one of the new cards, Trouble Sun. So, it's live twins. You know, they have a few new cards coming out. Uh, this card's pretty much just Rota, and it's like a really, really good Rota, too, because you can search it. Uh, there's there's like another like Rota in the deck that searches like the spells and traps so you can go ahead and search this and then use this to go search something so it's like a really good addition to the deck and then they're gonna go ahead and activate that and it's gonna search out the Lily and then normal summon Lily effect and this is resolving bringing out the frost frost is really good it's a graveyard effect lets you draw one when they go ahead and search and then special summon out crow over that's actually kind of cool uh we have seen this card twice in one week now uh, we saw this in uh what's it called the uh uh black wing deck that was cool to see uh, if you don't know what this card does it takes two dark monsters during either player's turn when an effect of a monster an effect of an opponent's monster is activated Detach two materials from this card, negate the activation, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to the opponent. And then special summon that out, get rid of those, they're going to go for that, and then affect the special summon back out from the graveyard, and then get rid of those, summon that out, and then affect the try to special summon back, this is resolving, go ahead and summon that, and then affect the draw. So drawing into the secret password. This is the card I was talking about where it searches out the spell or trap. You can go ahead and activate that to search that. And then get rid of those to go for trouble sunny. And then set droplet pass. So they have droplet, ash, gin, and then trouble sunny will go ahead and summon these back. So they'll have a pop and a draw. And then this will also let them get a draw. So, you know, the deck plays a lot of hand traps, or normal lists play a lot of hand traps. Um, so, maybe they'll draw into one off of one of those. And then Kuraz, they're going to go ahead and Imperm the Trouble Sunny. Chain its effect here, and then it's going to summon back. And then you're going to go ahead and get the effect to draw. So, it draws into a Reborn. And then Normal Summon Rat. Rat effect, Chain Droplet to out that. And... Maybe you're like, oh, that, that's kind of weird. That's not really that good. But now they can get this effect because they don't control Alila. And this can special summon back out this. And then this will get a pop. And then summon Borbo. Uh, end of main phase. Or on summon. What? Couldn't they have just waited until battle phase? Yeah, it's... I don't know, I mean, forcing your opponent to go to, like, main phase two. Ah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, no battle phase. It's pretty big. Uh, Kraz is going to get stopped by the Jin, And then they're going to get Nerval effect. Chain Ash Blossom to the gate. And then set strike pass. And then they're going to draw the Claw Crow. And then banish. And this will be sending for cost. And then it is a non-targeting send. They're going to chain some strike to stop that. Or I guess, yeah, I was going to say, like, why would you actually chain some strike to stop that if they're just going to go ahead and send strike? So, yeah, that's just going to go ahead and go to grave. They just accidentally clicked activate, I guess. And then activate reborn. Special summon back out the link. And then, you know, they get the draw one off of that. Oh. I was wondering why they reborned. Uh, because I was like, why not just use the Effector Reborn? But these lock you in the Fiends, and they're trying to go for a Deco Talker Extended. Now, if you don't know what this card does, this card is 
Definitely interesting. Um, takes two plus effect monsters. This card's name becomes Deco Talker while it's on the field. Gains 500 attack for each monster it points to. And then during the battle phase, if a monster's card points to is destroy a battle or sent a graveyard. So, you know, you can like send it to graveyard yourself. Um, I guess you could also destroy a battle yourself too. Uh, but that's not what's happening here. And then this card can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. So they're going to get that effect. Special summon back out. And then get rid of those. And it's going to go for Trouble Sunny. Also, I just realized they forgot to do this. Um, this is something you want to remember too. That it makes you gain life points and deals damage to the opponent. That can definitely be the difference between like winning and losing. You know, just a couple extra life points. Um, definitely not the reason you're playing this card. But, you know, just extra effects. Go ahead and attack. Set extended. Lol. Oof. Okay. OTK machine. Yep. And then effect. Get rid of itself. Special summon back. Special summon back. This will be attacking again now. And then you know, go ahead and attack. And then attack, attack. So going on to the next game, we are going to see the lollipop going first opening hands we have barrage rap fractal veiler desires and then so this definitely works they have cosmic bell secret password talents and droplet so it seems like you know we don't know what cards are sided in or not but it kind of seems like they're not playing a lot of hand traps and we're going second cards normal summon rat effect and then they're going to be dumping go ahead and dump the thorough blade and then chaka nine Chalk and Nine effect. This resolves. Special summon back out. And then Tiger Mortar just to get the fourth in graveyard. And then go for Blossom. Blossom for Fractal. Fractal effect. Banish. And then they are going to be banishing two for Bear Bloom. Or I guess not the fourth. Just getting an extra name in graveyard. And then go ahead and activate Desires. Because uh really doesn't matter like if you use tiger mortar or not like like for like future plays um when it comes to like your zoo engine because like later on if you go ahead and you normal summon out like thoroughblade you can just borbo attack zeus and then activate desires this will be vanishing 10 then looking at those we see anti-spell <laughs> all three tankies uh a kit a caress Draw Nerval Imperm. If they aren't on more zoos and they don't have anything for Barrage. And get rid of all those to summon Appalooza. Uh, they're going to get those effects. This is just going to get put back anyways. Yeah, and then grab Revolt. Put back Valor. And then set. And pass. Draw the Claw Crow. They're going to start off by activating Secret Password. And then go grab the Trouble Sun. And then activate that. And then go search out the Kelsey, and then normal summon Kelsey, chain Ash Blossom to the effect, activate Talents to draw, draws in the Ash and Lily. Then they're gonna set. Oh no, they should have kept Droplet. Like you know, there's Revolt. You know it's gonna get activated on end phase. If you just go ahead and you set Cosmic and you pass, right? End phase, the opponent activates Revolt, you chain Bell, they chain Appalooza, you chain Droplet. Would have been pretty good. And also, why'd they search this? Like, I got, I got a lot of questions. Really do. Really do. Um... First of all, this one just sucks compared to this one. Because this one summons out Frost, which lets you get a draw. And the other one has, like, a horrible graveyard effect. So, this is just ten times better than this. This also, you, like, you had the extender for it. This you don't. Uh, just rank twos. You can go rank two, downward Zeus. You can do stuff like that. Um, Could have Zeus to the zoo deck. But, Yeah. Uh, they decided to not do that kind of stuff. And then go for Omen. And now they just lose. Yeah, draw Imperm. Summon, effect. I definitely think this was winnable on their side. 
then bring out Doom Eagle, uh, not using Omen effects, summon out access code effects, and they admit defeat. Wow, that was not a great game two. Moving on to game three, we're gonna see live twins go first, opening hands, we have strike, imperm, nerve all, draw, and fractal, so a couple hand traps. Uh, I guess trolls like decent. They probably just didn't have anything else to put in. Uh, not like good though. And then they have Bell. They have Lily, Crow, Talons, and Frost. So this does work with this. Um, the other extender treat doesn't work with this. Uh, you need like certain extenders for certain cards. They're like situational extenders. And then normal summon effect. Oh, they're BMing the Imperm. But they have the extender. Then get rid of those, summon, effect. So the drill is actually just going to do nothing here because they didn't open up like any of the searchers. So they're still going to end up just getting their draw. Effect, draw. Oh my gosh, and they draw them. They're not even doing anything else. So now you're just going to get hit with talons. Hit fractal. Oh my gosh, this card was actually just like a complete neg. And so we'll summon out the trouble sunny, pass, draw strike. So they just don't know one strike. They're gonna normal summon out, and then effect, get rid of itself, summon out a draw and a pop, and then they're gonna get the effects, pop, draw, draw on the tree, and the Nerval effect, chaining Ash Blossom to that, and then set pass, draw talents. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and use this. Um, it's like technically not a quick effect, so this should be a main phase. I wish this card was a quick effect. They're gonna go ahead and send one of the back rows. Special summon out tree. Special summon out crow. Normal summon out bell. Wow, really just going all out here. And then going for the extended. They're gonna strike that. Yeah, the thing is though, is that this is still just way too much for them. And then get rid of those. Go for trouble sunny battle phase attack directly if they're playing three of these then they're also just going to use the effect here to tag out summon back and they are playing three you're going to get the draw off of that draw and then poke poke and then main phase two just go ahead and summon another trouble sunny pass draw revolt and yeah ggs like they just go ahead set it's going to get popped anyways doesn't doesn't even do anything like this is a spellcaster. It's not like a anything that you can summon off of this. Um, well, I really feel like game two they could have done more. I'm actually all right, we're gonna see how long this match was, but I want to go back to game two real quick. We see that it was 25 minutes long, uh, pretty quick match. But okay, let's go ahead. We're just gonna skip in the game two, and we are just going to skip directly to the live twin players turn. Um, yeah, so, doo doo doo, like the little Jeopardy sounds, like, ba na 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 ba, ba da ba, so, I don't want to miss over it. Alright, pass, draw, we're going to go ahead and activate secret password, and then this is going to go search out, you know, the rota, and activate rota. Roto's gonna search out. It's like, why are you searching that though? Like, you have the extender for the other one. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Let's pretend this is the other one, okay? So they're gonna summon out, and instead of Kelsey, they're summoning out Lily. They still get hit with Ash Blossom, they still activate Talons, and they're gonna activate this to draw. Um, in a different world, they could use it to take, but then that, uh, but then they're going to chain revolt and then you'd have to use your cards anyway. So yeah, I think it still just use this to draw, draw out Ash and yeah, see this, this could have been on board instead of this. And then they're setting these like. Like, that was on board, special summon out, um, go ahead, overlay, now summon out a rank two, and then, like, well, I guess it depends what rank two they would decide to end up playing, but, you know, 
most likely they're just going to play Sky Cavalry in this deck. It's not like uh, this deck where Mana can, cat can actually just come up like way more because you, know, you have Fractal, Kit, Kuraz, Nerval, uh, and you have like multiple different things that you can summon off the Mannequin Cat. Um, so like they could have, let, let's say they play Sky Cavalry, you know, they summon that out. I guess they just get hit with Imperm anyways. And then they stop this with Droplet. They stop this with Bell. Um, past turn, this will go back to zero. Then Nerval just pushes through anyways. Yeah. Well, I guess. I mean, they would definitely still have a chance because. Ah, uh, but it's like, oh, uh, since it's Nerval, like, they're gonna go ahead and go for, like, Omen, most likely, and then, you know, Omen, Omen's gonna go ahead and search something as well as Nerval when they link away for Blossom, so you can't just, like, Ash Blossom one of those. So, they're, they were most likely gonna lose this one anyways, but they definitely could have played it out better. Like, if there wasn't Imperm here, like, they just won. So... Uh, definitely some misplays again that's assuming that their extra deck is what i think it is it definitely could be like completely different um but who knows i, I feel like they have to i mean they're playing the gin but are they playing the other rank twos i don't know i mean they're playing more extenders than the normal build too by also playing the claw crow this card's cool though but uh not much more to say about this match uh if you stuck till the end I appreciate you. Comment down below. Um, comment down below, Big Beak. <laughs> and uh, with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.